Howdy friends, welcome back. I'm Trailblazer Tim. In today's video, I'm gonna to demonstrate to you how simple it is to tie the hangman's noose. Now, before we start, I wanna make it very clear that this video is for entertainment purposes only. If you're considering tying a noose because you want to end your life, please call an emergency service such as 911, 112, 999, or 110. United States, you can call 1-800-273-TALK. United Kingdom, you can get a hold of the Hope Line UK, and in Canada, also have services through the Befrienders Worldwide here. With that being said, let's get started. So we're gonna start with an actual rope. Not a cowboy's rope, but it is rope, not paracord or anything like that. And of course, with the noose and stuff, it's gotta be a rope that can get thrown over top of a tree and all that stuff. But we're gonna be working with about three or four feet of rope. We're gonna begin with the end of our rope and we're gonna create an S. Similar to that. Can you see that? It's sort of an S shape that I've created. I pull them together. Now that we've created our S in our line, we have our tag end that's up here, right here. And we're gonna take, hold on to that S, and I'm going to cross that tag end over a first time, like that. Now that we've crossed over that one time, we're gonna continue with that tag end, and we're gonna cross over that first loop, like so. You see how it crossed over there? And I'm still holding on to that original S. So what you're working with right now is a crossed over loop. There's two of them over top of the S, and they've been crossed over on the second time. I'm gonna take my tag end, see, we continue to hold on to that S. Keep nice and tight, and bring that tag end, and we're gonna wrap that around again, and again, and again. The more loops you put in there, the stronger it becomes. Wrap it down so you have just a little bit of the tag end left. Now with that last little bit of the tag end, we're gonna take and we're gonna pull it around just enough to come back up through that bottom part of the S. Similar to that. Just kind of tuck it in there a little bit. See what you got? Okay. All right, with our last little bit of our tag end that's through the bottom of the S loop, at this point I'm gonna hold on to this end, grab onto the top, where we started, and go ahead and start pulling that out. See what I'm doing there? Like that. At this point, we can kind of dress it up by just grabbing onto that, pulling it tight. See what we got there? Nice. And now we can just slide it upwards it cinches to the target or simply just pull it back out the way we just had it and it stays in place sweet the hangman's noose pretty slick just goes to show you guys way back in the day knew what they were doing just goes along with all the other knot tying I've been showing you over the past several weeks and stuff like that. And the more loops you make around that knot, the stronger this thing becomes. Now remember what I told you, this is for entertainment purposes only. Just goes to show you what was done back in the day and how they went about their business when it came to bank robbers and horse thieves and all that other good stuff. They would usually find themselves on the end one of these guys hanging from a tree. Wouldn't want to be them. <laughs> so we're gonna do it once more in real time. Create yourself an S in your line, like so. We're gonna take our line or bite, we're gonna bring it around, cross it over, make our loops, keep them going, work your way down the S. You see all that? Make your last one come back through the bottom of that S, just like that. Now, we can pull our noose out. See that? <laughs> I guess you do. Yes, sir. Sweet. Now 
Poor little Texas Pete. <laughs> hey, that's all the time we got for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and having fun. The hangman's noose. Long, rich history to this little guy right here. It dates back to the beginning of time. It was a use for capital punishment, horse thieving, all that other good stuff, and public hangings. And um, unfortunately, today in our diverse society and stuff, this has become a symbolization of hate crimes, racism, and stuff like that, which we are not any part of. This video is solely for entertainment purposes only and about the history of this little knot. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you're contemplating suicide or something bad to do with this, seek help immediately. Thanks so much for hanging out. Until next time, I'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.